so let's take a look at pg admin postgres sql gui tool so if you're already used to making queries through psql shell or command prompt you will find some useful use case here with pg admin okay so basically whenever you install postgres sql you will also get pg admin bundle with it so when you go to your postgres install okay here you will find pg admin 4 okay so when i click on it i get interface that greets me like this so i have to type in password right and then click on ok right then i will have to click on this server icon right then it should connect me to postgres server so currently i have these uh demo databases so let me get rid of some and create one from scratch okay so let's go with deleting both of them right now what we'll do is we will create new database we can do so with query as well but here i want to create it through gui interface because that's what pg admin does so right click on databases then create database let's name this one demo db right click on save okay now if you want to make use of psql you will have to make sure that you go to file and then preferences you will have to check for your binary path right so in binary path you have to make sure that the postgresql bin folder is being shown in the path if it's not then it may throw a few errors so make sure you have that right now next thing is we connecting to the current demo db that we just created right and we connected to it currently it's empty there is nothing in it so we go to schemas then we go to tables we'll have to create a new table right click create table right now here let's create a table name users right now that we enter the name of that table what we'll do is we will move to columns part now here i want to add few columns so let's start with our first column which is going to be id and that's going to be integer note that we can run everything through query as well but then what's the use of using pg admin right so what we'll do is we will simply go through this gui route so let's go with typing integer you can choose big integer or integer depending on how you wish to use now make sure that this is primary key right so once it's primary key next thing we will be doing is adding a name for our user right can keep the length or precision to let's say 200 right now next is we want a phone number and nothing more so we will just add integer okay then next thing we will add email which is again going to be character we will add 200 length for the same now that we have these four columns id name phone and email considering this is this being the primary key we will take a look at the query so click on this sql tab we will have query generated for you right so create table then public dot users id integer name character 200 phone integer email character 200 primary key id right now once this query runs after pressing the save button it should appear in our tables as you can see here now what we can do is we can simply view edit data all rows that should run the query and here you can see our table being currently empty now whenever you want to run the query on table you can right click on it click on query tool and it should allow you to run query on that particular table right so 
next thing what we will do is we will take a look at columns so here you can see four columns right now what we'll do is we will right click on table here now here you can see it will also let you count rows which is an interesting query that shows it has no data and zero rows so we have to also add data for that now next thing is we will take a look at import export so in import export you can choose simply by toggling this button import or export right another thing is we have to write the file name then choose the format and then use the escape characters and delimiter if you want so you can use tab or comma if you want and then click on ok considering we don't have any data there is no point in exporting anything right but I just showed you the option to do so then you have option to delete or drop this table then you also have option for insert script select script update script if you want so let's go with scripts insert script right so what value you wish to add so let's go with value number first which is going to be number one value then we make use of our value for Joe his phone number being e456789 then comes his email is joe at outlook.com now that we added the content for our Joe we can push the query right one query added we can keep on adding the second let's go with Jane and let's just make minor changes so that we can quickly get the data up run it again you have second row added three let's add Jake let's add six and Jake at Outlook insert again and we added two is already existing so we will add it for three right so we added another data now let's add the final which is going to be fourth row right so we'll add it for James and hit enter that adds four rows in our table right so we don't need insert query anymore now we can simply close this tab right don't save now what we'll do is we will run script for select script right so let's run this and check how much data we have and you can see four rows here Joe, Jane, Jake and James respective phone number and email now what if I want to run the update script I'm gonna have it in GUI as well right click scripts update script Okay, this saves a lot of my time from typing all of the stuff so let's change something for let's say set ID 3 name let's say I don't want to change name email or something like me uh, set ID okay so let's go with changing email Right. so set email as let's say James to at Outlook or simply JDO so that we don't have to complicate stuff right and where condition is ID is equal to 3 right so we'll watch out for this email change in ID3 right successfully completed so what we'll do is right click on this and wait right click on our users table script and select script run this and you will find that our 
ID3 is now changed with its email being g.2outlook.com. Okay. Now, next thing we can also run another query which is going to be delete script. So, what if I want to delete a particular row? So, let's say if I want to delete from users table where ID is equal to 4. So, fourth row I want deleted, right? So I will run this and it successfully runs. So if I run the select query now, it should only show me three of the results. Right? Georgian and Jake, right? So our fourth James entry has been removed. Okay, so we have seen our queries as insert, update, delete, right? And select so you can also use create script just in case if you want for that you have to check the script here we already have table so we don't need to go through one more time so we'll just look at that create query and move on right so when you want to create your table from scratch you can make use of this query and you can run this query on the top of your tables instead of running existing table right so we will close this tab okay so we have seen CRUD operations being done in PG admin we have also seen how to create a database how to create a table and then run those CRUD operations along with that you also may need to look at the dashboard too so dashboard here you can see your database sessions and your input output and transaction all are being recorded and being shown live to you through this similarly you also have access to tabs like stats right how many things created removed and other transaction details then dependencies if there are any dependence if there are any and SQL queries and that you run so basically you created a table that long is listed here then comes the properties for the respective default database which is postgres right so those advanced details are listed here now okay now we have seen how to run crud operation check on the properties and other queries that we can run on the database so pretty much simple stuff for okay so you get the idea how to use PG admin for your CRUD operations and the database specific operation through GUI tool.